when, when people you knew were feeling that way, did you feel more anger that they would, you know, put you in that position? Or oh yeah, it, 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 it's it's an interesting thing, and you see a lot of it. One of the reasons I wanted to do this movie is I felt like it was so real. I mean, his he's furious at my character, and furious at himself. I mean, it, it makes it, it, it sends everyone into a panic. There's there's guilt. There, you know, there's feel, there's feelings of I should have seen this coming. There's also um, anger that someone would would have potentially put all of these people that they claim to love in, into grief and guilt and, and sadness. And and there's also this sort of despair that you that and and this feeling of failure as a friend that you go, you know. I, I walk around going, knowing that if I had a hard, if I was having a really hard time, I could call this person. I could call this person. They would be there for me. And so the idea that that these that that you know that he didn't feel like he could call me and talk to me, and that I could, that, that it wasn't even worth letting me try to cheer him up. It felt like uh, you know it's it's a real rejection of, of a group of friends saying you, none of you, are, and you know it, obviously it's. It's a very dark place, and so you don't blame them. You just—it's like this heartbreaking thing. And, you know, I had the—I had the the sort of lucky opportunity that a lot of people don't have, which is to talk to him afterwards and, and get answers and, and tell him that I love him. You know, I in and you know, I've also had <clears throat> friends who have had um, really people who are very close to them in their lives kill themselves and, and you know, attempt suicide and succeed, and they carry that around for the rest of their lives. So, um, you know, anyway, it was, I felt like when I read this story, I, it, it struck me as um, something that came from a true place. Every character had a real reaction, whether it was take over, you know, caring for the person, being angry, being sort of, you know, unsure. So I, I thought you, Jesse did a great job. Sorry, do you think that people understand that when someone kills himself, that depression has has them not able to probably ask you for help? Oh, absolutely. And that that's the thing that you realize as a friend, too, is that there's, you know, there's chemical elements and, you know, and it, it's a... It's it's a dark place that that is hard for people who don't experience depression to even sort of imagine, you know, and uh, and so it's but that makes it that much harder for people to wrap their heads around. But yes, yeah, so you have to realize that it's a lot of times it's 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 not the person's fault, it's, and it's not them rejecting you or thinking you're not a good enough friend, or it's it's them being consumed by a darkness that's so uh, and, and endless seeming to them. Um, and so, uh, but it's it's a very painful thing because we we like to we like to believe about ourselves that we can save other people and that we can change other people. And uh, at the end of the day, we're all really we can only really be held accountable for our own actions.